welcome to the adventures of Pagan and Kitten Tears. And here we are in our Seven Days to Die husband and wife Let's Play. It's Alpha 13. Alpha 13, been waiting for this. Um, had a few rough sort of um, aborted starts that just look really, really bad. Lots of change. It's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, so we're starting out now gonna get a new season going and show you some of the the fun new things here all right so as we go one of the things I'll show you right off the bat is in the lower left hand corner where you're normally used to seeing of course your health endurance your thirst and hunger gauge the thirst and hunger are missing um, they're still there and they're still a very big part of the game but they're not on display immediately there what will happen is if you reach 75% um, hunger or 50%, you'll get a brief pop-up right over there, icon, stating that. Um, and when you get lower and you're s suffering from starvation, other debuffs appear there. Um, you can check this out by going to your menus here. And if you just go to the character, these things are now all displayed in the top right-hand corner here. You've got your level, your wellness, your food, I'm at 99%, water 99%, core temperature temperature and environmental survival play a huge role now um, and really add to the, the difficulty uh, mm -hmm. of the game uh, as you will see. Paper doll looks a lot better as you can see, so don't the character models. And the whole inventory and UI system is just clean, intuitive, uh, a lot easier to use, all tied together. There is a great um, waypoint system now with the maps where you can make custom waypoints wherever you want with your own icons and you can write down what you want them to be save them multiple ones and then you can share those with other people on uh, on the server that's great actually right now oh, I don't see you listed on the server right yet so I guess I can't friend you but we're probably having a little lag issue all right, in any case, we're going to start gathering and start surviving. A couple other things that are um, of immediate note is if I start harvesting wood from this log here, you can see that it shows the hit points of the log right off the bat. That's good, kind of shows you, gives you an idea how long it's going to take to smash things or whatever. Um, so that is a change, and there's a little arrow pointing down over the top of it indicating that I'm destroying it. If I were repairing the block or upgrading it, say in a house or a wooden block, the arrow would be pointing up. So. Also in the right hand corner you'll see that I'm getting the wood as I go rather than as a big batch um, at the end. Uh, you'll still get a big batch when you finish off, but you can gather wood as you go. Makes it a little bit easier to quickly equip the very most basic things at the beginning, but uh, I'm finding gathering supplies is a lot more challenging now uh, than it has been in the past. you also see that where you used to, uh, things used to drop sticks, plants like this, and um, logs would drop from trees. Now the only thing that drops is one type of wood, rather than there being three types of resource for that, logs, boards, and um, the sticks. Now it's all the boards. Um, and so any recipe that used to take sticks takes boards. If you used to take logs, it takes boards. So they've simplified the resource for wood and I'm assuming for the other things down a bit, which is fine. I don't mind that. They've complicated lots of other things like the weather survival, so I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to take a little bit of simplification. What do you think, kitten tears? Let's see. Am I able to track you yet? I don't know. Um, it shows that you're on mine. Yeah, but I don't see you on there, so... Um, right now, um, I guess what we'll just do Why is... don't you pop 
back off and raid back on the server real quick. Yeah. So let me just uh, get to an area where I'm not surrounded by zombies. Oops, speaking of which, there's one of those HD zombies now. Let me quickly make an axe. Ooh. I love how the crafting and inventory is uh, tied together like that. I'll explain a bit more after I get rid of the zombie, but I've made a stone axe. Yeah. Right, so the zombie models now all have motion capture animation and are HD. <coughs> Whoops. <coughs> they look so much better. Also, they've added um, limb-specific damage as well as decapitation and dismemberment. So what you can do is you can uh, headshot them or take out their legs when you're fighting them. And uh, they'll, they'll cripple them, bring them down to the ground, they'll become crawlers. It's, it's pretty good. It's a lot better. And as you can see, the certainly the models for the zombies are a million times better. Oh yeah, definitely. Alright. Different sounds too. Notice that. Alright, there is a cabin near me here. Let's see if this one gets Yep, there's new up. sounds as well. But the animations and uh animations and models for the characters and so on is so much better. One of my favorite things though is the waypoint system. But, ah yes, I'll show you the crafting system to show you how I enjoy that. So another great thing about the gathering system is you can now easily get rocks from this without having to go through, you know, couple of stone hatchets. You'll get them as you go. The rocks, you can get a few anyways if you need. We have to get you some more hatchets real quick. Stone axes. But see, as you can see in the inventory, you just click on an item. That will show you what you can do with it. It will show a description here. It'll, if I can drop it or recipes, click on there. The highlighted ones are ones I have. Click on it. Shows what you need, how many you need, and what you have in your inventory you can just craft it from here. And there's a crafting queue. So you can craft multiple things at a time in a row. So very, very great user-friendly. So much is user-friendly, streamlined, just clean, much more effective. Uh, the UI, the interface is just... I can't, I can't, um, can't enthuse enough about it, I guess. Okay, so I'm now back online. Okay. Alright, so now it shows... Okay, so here on the top in the menu there's players. It shows everyone on your server. Uh, it shows some stats like their kills, their deaths, their ping. And if you want to friend them, you hit the little plus right there. And Kit and Tears will do it for me. Okay. And when she does... See here, under track, if I check that, it will now track her in my compass, show a blue mark for her. And if I want, I click the show here, and it shows her on the map, and where she is to me. Oh boy. Am I pretty far? I think so. Hold on. I don't even see you in my compass, you must be pretty far away. Oh, I'm starting to run towards you, so I always do. I see you at least, which is good. So I'm facing southeast. Oh, I get used to this. Wow. Yeah, I don't know where you are. Oh. Oh, I'll head towards your place. Are you still in the desert? Yeah, I'm in the desert. There's a cabin nearby, though, so... We can try and live here, I guess. Alright, as you can see, also, 
now I've got uh, it's showing a temperature gauge over my health there at 100 degrees. Oh, and now it's gone to a sun, meaning I'm starting to get dehydrated. You gotta pay attention to how much you exert yourself. Apparently, in the desert, you get really hot, you get dehydrated, affects your stamina, your damage. Uh, from what I can tell, it's just unpleasant. They've definitely they weren't joking around and playing when they decided to add uh, environmental survival. Um, it's up in the air. Whether or not I'm gonna get annoyed with this real quick, but I will deal with it for all of the great things they added. Yep. We'll have, to have a little <gasps> pain. Hopefully it just won't become a lot of pain. You must be a distance. Gather some more supplies. Rocks. Rocks and wood, rocks and wood. Gotta get all the rocks and wood you can. And plant fibers. Mm -hmm. You can make plant fiber clothing right off the bat early on. So. Okay, found a road. Excellent. And chickens! <gasps> found some chickens. <gasps> I should also mention, after I make a few more axes, um, that there's now skills in the game. Not only do you gain levels, regular levels, but you gain levels in different skills here as you use those skills. So you use bladed weapons, you'll gain each skill is a maximum of 100. You'll gain more as you use them. So, and then become better <laughs> at using them, obviously. And better at building things, some mining tools, what have you. So you can specialize a little bit, which will be great, because me working with my wife, we can, uh, she can take some things, like maybe armor and science for medical skills, and I'll do the weapon creating skills. So, it's going to be interesting. Also, you okay. gain, um, skill points as you level that you can then further specialize by um, putting into whatever you want to use them in. Got some more HD zombie fun. Let's see if I can take him out. He's a twitchy one. <laughs> <laughs> Tears, but I think the brownies are done. Oh, yeah. I'll grab them in a second. Uh, no, I did come across a house. It's in the desert. Oh, no, wait. It's a town that's in the desert. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, go get, um, the brownies, and we can figure that out. Okay. Well, nice. You're pretty close to me. You want me to keep on going to you? Uh, we're right near each other. Okay. 
right near each other. So. Want me to keep running to you? Yeah, I mean, we could... Is it a big town there? We can move in there, it might be dangerous, but... It's, um, kind of spread out. <sighs> so it's not terribly big. Boy, my temperature's okay. going up there, 107. I mean, we got some good little you know, houses. So it's not terribly big. We got some things, which is good. me and just have a jolly old time. Yep. I do love the new zombie animations, the new models, <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Oops. Ah! What? Well, zombies everywhere all of a sudden. <laughs> They all sort of just spawned around me. Oh boy. That was not pleasant. So I should leave this car. As a horde of zombies follows me through the desert. I think I lost track of you again. Alright, you near a house, we're gonna have to take shelter very soon. Yeah, I'm near a house. Alright. I'm near a few houses, but... that nobody's beating on the door. Boy, my church just keeps on rising. is a little burnt out. Mm, boy, I'm at 7% for thirst, I think. I'm very dehydrated. But I got no choice but to run through the desert. Church here. There is. <laughs> Maybe we should live in a church again. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak into it. Maybe. We should have made some spikes. Oh boy, there are so many zombies here. Uh, I'm com coming towards you. There's a couple of churches here. Oh 
got a lock. Let's see, maybe further up the road here is the place to go. I see ya. I'm chasing ya. I'm gonna try and go further up the road to this little shack we'll have to try and live in. Do you have enough wood? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I hardly have any wood. Thought I had enough. It says that I'm hunted. Oh, there's a zombie coming around the corner too. Just get into that house. <sighs> I'm creating a door. Okay, I'll get some backup wood. I'm gonna create some frames. I'll kill the zombie, I guess. I'm gonna have to fight them. Let's try to anyways. There's two of them, you might have to get up. Oh my god. Oops. Yeah, we're probably in some trouble here. We don't have time, though. Maybe we should just run into the desert and try to find... There's a water tower. Should we try making home on the water tower? I guess. I don't know how well it will work, but head over there. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. just have to hide in the desert. There's a ladder right here. Oh, there is? Oh, excellent. It'll be tough to get up, though, without falling. <laughs> I hit on one of these before. We just need to make one wood frame. Yep. And what's the wood frame do? Whoa! This kind of blocks the top. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I broke my leg. <sighs> Zombie came on top of that with me. Oh. Dang. <gasps> I think I'm doomed. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh no, you died. Yep. Well, this is a rough start, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try to hide somewhere. That's I all we can do. I have a broken leg, and... Yeah, I'm just gonna hide here in the desert and hope nothing sees me tonight. Yeah. I'm just gonna hide in a bunch of trees. Just see. Boy. I know. our first colossal episode in Alpha 13. Go fumbling around and getting killed. <laughs> getting resources is definitely harder. Uh, this will say at the end of the first episode. And 
alpha 13 is that getting resources is harder dealing with the temperature is uh, is going to be tough challenge uh, but I like how streamlined the uh, user interfaces and the menus and the crafting system are a lot better uh, the maps and the waypoints so but with that we'll probably end it here hiding out in the desert and hopefully oh, kitten tears died oh. Well, oh well hopefully I'll survive till morning and we'll have another episode so See you then.